Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing, Hattie Kids? I'm Q the Costa Rican, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet random Wi Fi battles. Today, we're using a mono Generation 5 team. Basically, what if Generation 5 you could terrestrialize, and I guess you also had boots, and I guess you also could terrestrialize. Regardless, guys, I was inspired, okay? Usually, uh, it's a gain inspiration as to like what Pokemon I want to use or some unique sets or whatever. I hop on the random showdown ladder and I just, you know, just play some games until I find a Pokemon. I'm like, oh, you know what? Let's build a team around that. Today, it was Girder, guys. All right. So basically, we were playing Randbats. I let off a Girder. They let off with a passive Pokemon. I clicked bulk up three times and 6 0 the entire team. It was amazing. It was this exact set Terra Steel with Drain Punch, Knock Off, Mock Punch. Obviously, you get walled by fairy types kind of but after you start bulking up and also turning into a steel type so you resist them like it kind of, the resist the fairy resist kind of doesn't matter anymore you know what i'm saying it's kind of you kind of just break through it regardless um so after that i was like okay let's put volcaron on the team because i feel like they're pre two pretty decent pokemon that kind of help each other out a little bit and then i was like you know what let's just go mono gen 5 for no good reason also we're recording this the day before the pokemon direct comes out on february 21st and people are speculating like it's going to be a Gen 2 remake announcement. People are speculating there's going to be a Gen 5 remake announcement. People are speculating there's going to be no Pokemon uh, mainline game announcement. Regardless, if it is Gen 5, then your boy is a bit of a psychic type. And we, you know, we got a nice little mono Gen 5 team. I uh, still don't know how I'm going to title this. All this, we're breaking the fourth wall at the moment that you guys don't really care about. Obviously, you just care about what's going on with the team. If you want to check out the Pokepace... Uh, it is in the description down below all, that shows you all the EV spreads of all the Pokemon. Everything is pretty standard. Um, we have, you know, max speed, max special attack, uh, Hydreigon, max speed, max attack, suicide lead to Rakion, max speed, max special attack, Volcarona, max Spadef, max HP, careful nature, Girder, so that we could like basically wall, not wall, but like tank hits from both sides of the coin, uh, where, you know, tank special hits and tank physical hits because of our bulk up. Um, and then we have um max hp bold nature 172 uh defense amoongus with the rest into spadef and then we have mixed defense alola mola uh with uh you know nice little passivity alola mola i really don't like using like two extraordinarily passive pokemon like amoongus and alola mola but they really do like they, they really do like cover each other super fucking well right like like amoongus doesn't want to take fire or ice hits Alola Mola comes in. Alola Mola doesn't want to take grass or electric hits. Amoongus comes in. So they, they really do complement each other very, very well. Um, and they were like the two quote unquote best defensive mons in Generation 5 that are still in Generation 9. If I could have had, uh, what's the the Pringles ghost water type? Uh, Jellificent? Yeah, if I could have had Jellicent in, on this team instead of Alola Mola, I totally would have. Because I would have loved a spin blocker or just a ghost type. You know what I mean? Would have been nice. Um, but you know, you know, Amoongus isn't as passive as Alola Mola is, but Alola Mola is like extraordinarily passive, almost to a fault. But, uh, if you know, as long as, uh, the offensive Pokemon doesn't have like substitute or anything like that, we should be all right. Cause even if they try to set up in front of us, we just could flip turn. If it's physical, we go back into Amoongus and file play. If it's special, uh, we cry. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's, it's a really fun team that I want to try out. I really just wanted to try out Girder. And then I just surrounded Girder with a bunch of other Gen 5 Pokemon just to see what happens. Uh, regardless, if you guys want to use the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner, YH1541. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the team as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. This may or may not be the start of a new, like, somewhat of a new series where we uh, take just Pokemon from one specific generation and try and win with them. Uh, could be pretty fun. We might even do that in 3v3s. Uh, who knows? Regardless, uh, that is going to be it. If you are uh, new to the channel, click that subscribe button, like the video, and I hope you all enjoy the battles. All right, y'all. Here we are with the Mono Gen 5 team. Uh, we run into a pretty cool team. They do have a Palafin, which, you know, we actually have some pretty good Palafin counters. If it's like bulk up, that kind of sucks. But then we also have this to be able to like sludge bomb poison it slash giga drain. Um, they could... Lead off with Glamora, I think, regardless. I want to just lead off with Tarak to taunt it. And uh, otherwise, if they lead off with anything else, we can kind of just, like, close combat, like, the Archaladon and have a good time. I don't know what the Archaladon would want to do. Um, I guess since it's, like, it's not on a rain team. I guess it could still be AV, but I, I would more so anticipate, like, the defensive 3v3 set. But I honestly don't know. Regardless, 
Um. Oh, what's his name? Gallade kind of fucks my team. Good thing these guys are faster, but that's like it. Um, so yeah, that could be scary for sure. Glade is a huge, huge threat. Uh, especially because Terrakion... Well, Terrakion should be gone, like, pretty early on. Like, as soon as I, like, turn three. If I'm still there, there's something wrong. But, um... Yeah, that Glade's looking like a threat. Glade looking like it's good. It's gonna get a kill against anything that's that's in, which is crazy. Uh, they do lead off with a Riptide, which is this guy. So I get free rocks, which is nice. If they, if they fucking stay in and flip turn, they're genuinely psychotic. But they definitely could. They definitely could. They're fucking stupid, bro. Why would you do this with your palafin? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this? You're so stupid. Uh, you died. Like, I'm very confident that palafin died. <laughs> like, baby palafin? Like, come on. There's just no fucking way. You just stayed in like that. You're fucking dumb. Okay, it didn't die. But it should have. It should have. Regardless, they could mortal spin me here. Which would kind of suck. Um, but at the same time, I'd like to taunt to prevent their rocks. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, kind of wish I had EQ. Because I just kill this. But, you know, we don't have that, unfortunately. Let's see. Do they have Mortal Spin? They don't. Let's go. All right. So now we just uh, click our best move, which is Close Combat. We can bring in Amoongus to absorb the T-Spike. So we don't really care about that. Close Combat is very, very free against everything. So they go, ba they go back into Palafin, I guess. <laughs> I don't have to lose Terrakion here. I very much do not have to lose Terrakion here. Uh, they could flip turn again, which is probably what they should do, honestly. Into uh, Glamora, but I guess... Yeah, in the off chance that they choose to flip turn here instead of jet punching, I think I'd rather just uh, prevent... Because, mm. yeah, like if they flip turn back into, uh, what's it called, as I go one of these guys, they unfortunately do get up rocks, which isn't like the worst thing in the world. It just It's just annoying to deal with. Um, so instead, I could go into this as a neutral play, but they also could, like, randomly click close combat here. I'm actually just gonna, I'm just gonna CC. Fuck it. Yeah, okay, like, this is fine. This is whatever. Because now we just get to go into Palafin, and I think get a kill? I feel like Dark Pulse should kill this. Uh, let's see, Hero Form, close combat did about 60%, so as long as Dark Pulse does 40%, we should, yeah, we should be able to go into this and click Dark Pulse. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, it's just, it prevents, you know, prevents everything. Prevents the Glamora from getting rocks up, uh, prevents a bunch of stuff. Well, that's actually not true. The Glamora can tank a hit, um, and get up rocks, but, like, whatever. But, like, whatever. They can't switch into Dark Pulse, is the other thing, which is, like, really good. Uh, but they're, they're gonna try. Let's see, is it, is it Archaludon? And then we'll be able to find out if you're AV or not. It looks like an Archaludon, if I've ever seen it. Yep, okay. Let's find out what you are, brother. I assume this is going to be AV. Eh, that doesn't look AV to me. What's his name? Arch Aludon. Um, Arch Aludon. Like, they could totally Terra. Like, if they want a Terra Fairy here, like, be my fucking guest, man. Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. AV. Yeah, no, that's just not. That's just... Okay. See you later. See you later, buddy. Like, Dragon. Very strong Dragon type from the... Unova region? I, I I had to think about it for a second. I was like, wait. So anyways, yeah, I, I, I was compelled to... Well, I guess you guys already heard in the intro. But if you skip the intro for whatever reason, I was compelled to use, like, a mono... Je Blizzard. I was compelled to use, like, a mono... Je oh, fuck, it's in. I was compelled to use a mono Gen 5 team um, because I uh, got into a Rand bat with the homie Girder here, and it kind of fucking popped the fuck off. Literally turned one 6 would So I was like, you know what? We're, make we're putting Girder on a team. And then I just, like put Volcarona as well on the team. And then I was like, wait a minute. What if we just go mono uh, Gen 5 for like genuinely no reason? I'm going to go into Amoongus because they should fighting move here. And then I'm going to pivot out of Amoongus into Alola Monona and then see what happens. Uh, they do Sacred Sword. Are you Life Orb? I would love for you to be Life Orb. That'd be so good for me. Oh my God. They're not. They might be. What's it called? Anyways. Hmm. They either Psychic move, or they go back into a Glim. I doubt they would Sacred Sword again. Okay, so they did stay in. I think I just keep cycling them. Let's see what they do. They Psycho Cut. Perfect. Okay. Now let's look at Galate. Can I kill this Pokemon? So they're not Choice Lock, which is like good to know. 
Draco doesn't kill them yet. I'm going to keep doing this because I think it's funny. Who's got more defense? Because that Sacred Sword, it's so fucking much for not being Life Orb. 123, 132. So, wow, technically this guy's got... Okay, we're going to actually go into a Lola Mola instead in case they double Psycho Cut like a fucking G. This is why I wish I had U-Turn on Hydreigon, but I opted to go for Flamethrower instead just for like the extra coverage uh, for something like um, Scizor or whatever. They Swords Dance! They're crazy. Because if I just Dark Pulse twice, like you were, you were dead. Regardless, I think we live this hit. Uh, so I'm just gonna flip turn. Soul... Are they Power Herb? You're fucking shitting me. Oh, they're not. Okay. Wait, hello? Now I just go to Amoongus and kill you. Oh, this was perfect. This was perfectly orchestrated. Okay. I don't know what they thought was gonna happen there. I could also just go Hydreigon and kill it, but like, whatever. Let's go Amoongus. Yeah, because it's definitely in range of Dark Pulse now. Um, actually, no, it's not true. Yeah, it's not true. Um, they're in range of Draco, though. Uh, regardless, they're in range of this foul play as well. <laughs> so, like, we just click foul play now. Hell yeah. I, but bro, if they were power orb, that would have been sick. But they were not power orb. Who's the, like, sunsetter? Like, like what is... what was the, I didn't even know Solar Blade made contact like that. Whatever. You learn something new every day. And now we learned that uh, Glade was a threat. No longer a threat anymore. So, if they opt to go into Glamora, I'm going to assume... They, in fact, go for the... What's it called? Eclipse. Oh, this was your Pokemon. Okay. I mean... I mean... I've got the Giga Drain, bro. Like, I've got it on me. I keep that thing on me. You know what I mean? I could also just Spore instead. Giga Drain, literally two KOs. Um, But I could also Spore. This might kill me. It didn't. Amoongus for president, baby. Alright, so we're gonna spore. Big spore coming in clutch. Uh, and then... What do we do from here? I think we wanna go... Into this and just start spamming Scald, I think. It look, it's looking like the defensive mods are gonna be like... <laughs> more utilized at the at the front end of this team instead of the offensive mons like i thought which is a little weird right because i feel like i don't really like running too many passive mons on one team and i felt like like alola mola and amoongus like really really help each other out in terms of like negating each other's weaknesses like they're a really good duo in, for for living hits and like taking hits for the other guy um but ironically they're also extraordinarily passive right so like Anyone who's, like, any offensive mon, not any offensive mon, but a lot of offensive mons that would, oh my god, that did zero. That would, like, run, like, a, um, that has to be AV, right? That would run more of, like, a, uh, a, uh, what's it called set? Like, yeah, that's AV as hell. Oh, uh, wait, so what do I do with this information? If it's AV, I flip turn. Because Blood Moon still does a fuck ton of me. To Alola Mola. Um, what do I want to do here? Because AV is a bit of a problem. Maybe I could win with Girder in front of this. I, I probably should have done that initially, honestly. Um, we're just gonna... Uh, it's called. Okay, they wake up. So they should Blood Moon me. Oh, they Moonblast, actually. Okay. That's smart. That's smart. I'm still not in range of Blood Moon, though. We get the burn, which is actually pretty good. And so now, we might be able to get our first kill with Girder. Without needing to, like, do any terrestrialization or anything. Because uh, I think this flip turn into burn ship should put you in range of match punch. So, I am... Since I know your AV, I'm actually going to protect. Because it'll get um extra burn ship and I'll get ex extra lefties back. Not that that's going to matter. because Well, actually, it will. Because I, I should get hit on this turn. And then I'll flip turn out. And so I'll get a little bit more regen. Or, you know, overall, I'll have more HP by the end of the time. By the time I come back in, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, that's really funny. So yeah, they're definitely in range of Mach Punch now. They might even die to this flip turn, depending on what their spread is. Uh, so I'm just going to flip turn now. And we might be looking at our very first Girder kill. They withdraw! This is great for us. Holy shit. Are they going into, like, Pelipper? Not Pelipper. This, oh, this thing. Oh, that's fine. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm actually going to do? 
You know what I'm genuinely gonna do? I'm going into uh, 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 what's it called, Girder. I'm getting my guts. Glamora. I guess give it. It's let's give it like Earth Power. Let's give it Sludge Wave. Uh, let, let's give it random Dazzling Gleam just in case. I feel like my guy. I feel like my guy might genuinely might just win now. Let's see. Yeah, they should be doing fucking nothing to us. We're only get. We'll only get the one to uh, poison chip instead of, like, the toxic chip that, like, builds over time. And we could actually bulk up into Drain Punch in front of this thing, I think. So, yeah, we're doing that. We're, do we're literally doing that. Actually, looks so good. Girder the Great! This is a maximum size girder. Let's go. I was going to name him, like, Bob the Builder, but it didn't fit. And then I was like, oh, I could just be Bob. And then I was, and then I just forgot to do it. So, I was like, whatever. I don't care anymore. Um, Regardless, though... We're both. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait, they're just in range of Mach Punch. But I kind of want to bulk up once. Nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go. All right, so we bulk up. We could Drain Punch, but I think, all in all, it's better to just Mach Punch. Just because um, we'll get hit by a move if we Drain Punch. And I think. Like, the recovery is, is negligible comparatively to not just not getting hit, I think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, yeah, we'll just mock punch. Let's fucking go. We kill this. We kill the other guy. I think, uh, what's that Pokemon's name? Ogre Pond could be a bit of an issue. Ogre Pond Hearth Flame probably kills us um, if they crit. Uh... Maybe not. I mean, I definitely drain punch in front of that. Oh, they go into this. Sir, are you a ghost? Are you going ghost? They don't. They're just going to die. Perfect. Hey, we did it, guys. <laughs> we got the girder sweep. Let's fucking go. Th this, they, they put us in range of stuff, though. So, like, if the Ogre Pond does, in fact, crit me with Ivy Cudgel, we probably just die. But, um, this is, this is cool. I could just mock punch it for chip, but I think I'd rather like drain punch. Oh, Riptide. Okay, this is in. Um, so this is banded. Wait, Jet Punch doesn't kill me, I don't think. I'm gonna mock punch, dude. Yeah! Oh, that was a crit too! So lucky and bad. That's crazy. Alright, so now it's just Ogre Pond versus the world. And I don't think we should be all too concerned, honestly. Honestly. I'm gonna go into Amoongus and just spam foul play. One, to get rid of the T spikes. Two, to spam foul play. Uh, so that they can't, like, Swords Dance sweep me. Like, this might seem silly in terms of, like, oh, you're you're weak to fire. You know what I mean? Obviously, right? I know I'm fucking weak to fire. But if they, tr the only, I think the only way they could win is if they start, like, Swords Dancing. So I wanna just click foul play. I just wanna spam foul play. I could also tear a water here and be, you know, all right. Um, but this was also good for absorbing T-Spikes so that, uh, I guess Alola Mola doesn't care, but also, yeah, I guess the absorbing T-Spikes part was irrelevant, but the foul play spamming is, is what is necessary. Okay, perfect. Not really perfect, but. So hopefully, ooh, hopefully Hydrate, I guess I could also Terra with my guy. So I think I just... I think I just go Hydreigon, and instead of clicking Draco, which probably kills this, just in case I miss, I think I just click Dark Pulse, and then put it in range of, uh, of, um, put it in range of Bulk, after I Terra Water. Okay, they do, they do Terra. So this is actually good, because then we, we definitely, we 100% Terra Water with Volcarona, and we just, uh, click Terra Blast, and I think we'll be okay. Unless they trailblaze here, then it becomes a little bit of an issue. But we'll see. We could also just flinch. Hi, Dragon. Let's fucking go. You're so good to me. Let's do it. Does it kill? It does. Ooh, and a, <laughs> a flinch into a crit. You'll love to see it. Well, hey, man. I mean, Girder killed half of the team, guys. I think we're actually just going to be one and done for this one. Uh, just because that battle did go uh, about 15-ish minutes. 
And I also have to do a draft league match in like a little bit. So I don't know if I'll have a whole lot of time to record another battle. But guys, I, we, we might revisit this team. I think this is the start of a new, somewhat new semi-series of using just one generation's uh, group of Pokemon. Today we use Gen 5. Maybe next time we use Gen 2. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team as well as any other new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next one. <gasps> Peace.